Hello and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. So last time we got Demeter back and we have developed a plan to capture Hephaestus. Aloy, I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Um, but the first thing we need in order for that to succeed... Huh. The first thing we need in order to um, capture Hephaestus is the uh, Omega override that Pharaoh created. To get that, we need to go to Thebes. Um, <clears throat> his bunker that he um, sheltered during the apocalypse. Um, because he couldn't be bothered to be in Elysium. So. Hey Gaia, me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? Mm. Have you been able to make use of Demeter's functions? Yes. I was able to mitigate most soil conditions and restore a temporary balance. You should notice less rampant plant growth in the area. Maybe that'll give Plainsong's fields a chance to recover. Unfortunately, recovery in that area is unlikely without the assistance of the Utaru's land gods. I have discussed this matter with Zoe. I believe we may have a workaround. Yeah, I'm helping her out with that. Something I'm still trying to figure out. Why was Demeter using flying machines to distribute metal flowers? In its deranged state, Demeter was defending itself against a robotic swarm that would devour all plant life. It thought the Pharaoh Plague was still happening? It feared it would come again. As part of its directive of receding Earth's vegetation, it sought to protect plant life at all costs. And considering it had 20 years to proliferate, I expect you will continue to find the fruits of its efforts for some time. That's a good thing I have the code to dissolve the vines, then. Wait. Yeah, no. Okay. Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Well, now it's not a surprise. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague to aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. 
Hm. Okay, this looks like it's lighter color than this, so I think... So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why you will need to procure Ted Farrow's Omega clearance. Right. From his personal bunker, Thebes. While you are gone, I will assist Beta in building the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? There are calculations I still must run, but I estimate a few hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. So now that you have Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck... Soon you'll have Hephaestus, then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system, without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. And fortunately, thanks to Beta's information, we know where Omega Clearance may be procured. Right. Somewhere in San Francisco. This looks like it's still... There's something I've been wondering how... Elis it is okay, zero. never mind. I'm red until it is... And for... We know where... Right. Okay, I think that's everything here. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Pharaoh agricultural research facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but... Also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, 
I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreaths before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. Hmm. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world, so I guess it's on us. It is. I guess I should get going. As you say, be well, Aloy. Okay. Immortals from the stars now? Looks like it. What's next? Wizards from the moon? That's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back, and she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solly food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. Nice. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Var will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. I'm sorry, Aloy. After all the trouble you went through, you have to head west again. Well, no one said this was gonna be easy. You sure you don't want any backup dealing with the Quen? They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so, let me know if you need anything before you go. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zo coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow, how he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. While Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. If I get Omega Clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging Thunder Jaws. Better them than us, for once. I'll be in touch if I need anything. I'll make sure Beta briefs everyone on the pulse generators. Good. Aloy, 
I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. I don't think that was the reason, but sure. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? Well, there's always Catalo. Leave allowed Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. I go with hate. Hate all the way. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No, we know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay, tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, So. I promise. Nice. Well, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Uh, I sent Endgame not too far in the future. Okay, so we have a quest in here that we can get. But first... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Eloy, I hear you're heading to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice.
there. One of the land god shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. The land god must be down there somewhere. Time for a swim. I better stay away from that snap maw. I could kill it. Oh wait, no, that's not what I want. I want something that's good against frost, not weak against it. That's pretty good. Yeah. This will work pretty good. like stuck. <sighs> One down, two to go. One down, two to go, yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh. Zo, you there? I'm here, Aloy. Had to swim a bit, but I gave the reboot code to So. Ah, good. We used to celebrate So in the fall, at the beginning of the harvest, with wine made from elderflowers. When I was twelve, I got tipsy on it and kissed a boy in the sage garden. How'd that go? He was so surprised he nearly fell into the mulch. It would be good to see So again, plowing the fields in the afternoon sun. All right, then. I'll head to Plain Song and deliver the code to the land gods there. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, so here should be metal flower. Fortunately, these ones seem to have vanished off the map. I wish Fire Gleam would do the same. Yeah. Metal flowers. Gone. There's the land god. But I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code.
I said it could work against that machine. Switch to the Atara Whisperer. And wait. <clears throat> we need to wait for this Ravager to pass by, unless we can override the Ravager. Actually, no, we don't want to do that. This is the Ravager, an, over, an overridden Ravager would destroy everything else. And then... Um... Would... Without taking really any damage, whereas if I override the Scrappers... Or Scroungers... Then I can do a little bit of damage to the Ravager, and then I can override it. something that's good against electricity and plasma. What's the best for that? Um, that's terrible for it. Looks like probably the Tanakh Skirmisher. It's 27 and 8. The Tanakh Marshal is excellent against plasma, but weak against electricity. Yeah, it's unlocked. I should be able to override it. But also, it's just generally been mostly weakened, so I'm. There we go. 
compared to an Apex one, that's not much. Hello, floating plant. All the machines. Time to install this code on that land guard. Yeah. One second, I want to grab some resources. electricity. Well, shoot. better one than that. Yeah, this one. water on its back. I mean, not chill water. Uh, purge water. But let me check real quick. Machine catalog. is purge water storage.
Oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. Going, going wrong. This is going a lot better than our first ever attempt at a Stormbird. Remember how? I mean, on this version of the Stormbird.
Where did you go? Oh, wrong, wrong arrow type. This code and smell them that I got. Okay. Yeah, storm birds. No longer much of a threat compared to some other things that are out here. But I should install this code on that land god. We'll do, we'll do. One sec. Let's try this again. Nice and easy. Another land god dealt with. Hey, Zo. Aloy, how goes it? I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. <laughs> the best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. Thank you, Aloy. Yeah. Okay, last one. Up here. Hmm. I think... I isn't that, isn't that the canyon that I accidentally descended into that one time and then couldn't get out because it was blocked by vines? Am I, am I, I'm, I, I think I'm right. That was a long time ago, but... Yeah, I think that's what, the one that it was. I wasn't... No, I was just walking past you. Of course, now I'm planning on killing you. <sighs> yeah. 
anyway. No, it's that. Oh, no. Fast travel. It's the same button as dodge. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're, we're getting up there in skill points again. Get over to the shrine in the canyon. Versus percent no point in the frost like this does exactly the same thing it would be worth it if this also did frost but it doesn't so Stealth generator, sir. That was a weapon. Seems 
is their stealth generator? I don't know. Apparently. I thought it was on their back. Don't tell me I never scanned a s
Whoa. No. That was weird. Fun. Don't mind if I do. Well, that was a that was a fun fight actually. Let's get back over to this fire and then we'll teleport up here. Oh my. Okay. Must be the shrine for the land god Go. Hmm. Must be past the shrines. Let's take a look. There. 
up on that ledge. Gotta climb up to that land god. It looks like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. Right, there's vines. There's a metal flower. I just have to find it. Why? I, I press circle to jump up. Okay. There, the flower. If I can deactivate it, the land god will be free from the vines. Then I'll have to find a way up there. Oh. I can just climb up. Should be able to access that cave now. Mm -hmm. A dreadwing carcass. It must have dropped the flowers and then crashed. Looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. This code installed. Oh, come on. That was, that was good. Yeah, I don't know why I suddenly can't jump up from them. The last land god. Zo, can you hear me? I can hear you, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth, and listening to her sing in the beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to do to people. I hope so. When you can, meet me at Plainsong and we'll send out the reboot signal. I've delivered the code to all the land gods, save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her, just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. What is this? Okay, let's uh Okay, well that's kind of Hmm, we have a quest here. Speaking of which, we also, I believe, have a quest back in our base.
I think. In any case, let's uh, let's finish up this one. Hey, how goes it? This is definitely one of the more important hey, side quests. Be on your guard out I've there. I've heard that the red scum clogging up the rivers has cleared in much of the Holland clan's territory. But for some reason, the water around their capital, Thornmarsh, remains polluted. May the sun shine Perhaps on. this is something you could help with. We're on for a tea yeah, ceremony, maybe. right? I'll look into it when I can. Should we stop? Aloy, you made it. All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal. would happen to all of them do t so and the rest she called it a reboot sequence but i didn't think it would be so beautiful soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did so the chorus wants a word of course they do do you want me to come no need i'll just tell them that our lands will soon be in again who are they to argue find me later then i'll tell you how it went Good luck. It's coming. Oh, we're not in dying light. I'm not super worried about the night. <laughs> They're all. <laughs> Sorry, it's really, it's really nice, but also hilarious. Okay, well, we're gonna end there. So, we have restored the land gods, and... Um, when we come back next time, there's a quest here in Plain Song that we can get. As well as there was a quest back in our in our base, so we'll take a look at the one here in Plain Song first. So until then, see ya, and bye.